<laughs> Hello and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video I'll be taking you through this Nissan Murano painted in platinum silver color code KYO. I'm painting it in Standox solvent based base coat. So as you can see all the prep work's already been done on this job. I've then taken it in the booth, masked it up, wiped it down with a wax and grease removing solvent, then grabbed that yellow track rag you can see in my hand and wipe that over at the same time as using the air from the spray gun. So this is the silver and I'll take you through the, the blending of the silver and getting the metallic on correctly uh, which can be a issue sometimes with the silvers. So that's our first coat. You're just starting to get some coverage once, once you get your second coat on. As you can see I'm putting this second coat on nice and heavy so, so it is actually covered by the time I put my last coat on. The last thing you want is to get the car out the front. It might look okay in the spray booth, but once you get it into the sunlight, you may actually find that it's a little bit transparent if you don't put your metallic on heavy enough. So that's just for your second coat. If you were to put your third coat on like this, the metallic would, um, it wouldn't look right. Uh, it would all be laying down in the, in the flow of the paint, whereas what you actually want the metallic uh, to stand up uh, by putting the last coat on a bit a bit lighter. So depending on the temperature, I've probably only left this about four minutes uh, because I'm using solvent base. It flashes off a little bit quicker than the water base and also the ambient temperature. I'm from WA which is usually quite warm over here. So this would have been about 30 degrees a day I'm painting this car. Um, this is what we call blending clear. It's basically just a clear coat of base coat and you put that over where you're going to be doing your blend and then as you can see it's still wet while I'm putting my last coat of base coat on and you notice I'm putting this one on a lot a lot uh, lighter and a lot quicker than I put that second coat on as to make that metallic stand up nicely and I was just flicking it out so you don't have a dead stop you're not going to see a big line down the middle of the door so same thing on, the, on this door it's not a blend but just nice and quick get that metallic standing up nicely and over that quarter panel where the colour meets up to the bumper bar and the tailgate I won't put any colour there just blending it out and you see how I flick a bit of a flick of the wrist And that's about it for the base coat colour, so now onto clear. I've just gone out and mixed my clear up and cleaned out the base coat gun. And then by the time that's done at this kind of a temperature, it's pretty much right to go straight on with your clear. Uh, with, the, with the solvent base, base coats, they'll dull right off um, and you'll know that it's ready for clear. If it's still a little bit shiny, then you might have to wait for a couple more minutes. So I'm using the Devilbus GTI Pro with the HVLP air cap on it for this job. Uh, best settings for this gun I've found with this air cap is wind the fluid right out. So you're mainly just using gun control rather than the actual fluid to restrict the flow of the paint. So uh, fan setting is open the fan right up and the air pressure should be set to about 2 bar or 29 psi holding the gun nice and close as you can see they're a very efficient gun these guns is, is really not much overspray um, so that means that most of the paint is actually hitting the panel which is where I want it to go I don't, uh, don't want the paint in the filters it blocks up the spray filters yeah. and it just means that you're wasting more paint so you, you go through uh, a lot more paint. So on to our second coat of clear. You can go on with your second coat a little bit heavier than your first coat because you want it to um, to get flow out a bit nicer. So if you put your first coat of um, clear coat on too heavy, especially on a silver and a colour like this, you, uh, as I was explaining about you want the metallic, uh, the flakes to stand up, you can actually end up pulling those flakes back down so you'll lose your effect and you can actually um, make the blends not look uh, right too if you, um, if you put your first coat of clear on too heavy so 
it's something to be, to be uh, conscious of. And also notice uh, when I come up to this door gap, um, I'll always just paint through them by about an inch and then flick it out an inch off the panel um, as not to get the big build up on that panel edge. So you can see I'm just going just through that door edge just there. At the end of this video I've got a link to a couple of different videos. I've got the um, Sata Jet 4000B HVLP spray gun, the digital version of that. Um, a review and demonstration on that and I've also got something new that I've done. I had one of my subscribers ask me to do a video uh, from a different aspect which is point of view so I'm actually spraying with the spray gun in the right hand and I've got the camera in my left hand so you can check that one out if you haven't already seen it. Um, here we go with the, the car in the wash bay being washed up. I didn't have the chance to get it out in the sun. It's a busy workshop and I don't always have the time to get the cows where I want for the final video but this is this is it all done and um, thanks a lot for watching and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.